Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Powell, as always, and um, basically, um, I just want to make a quick video saying that uh, I'm excited about the behind the scenes August. I think it's gonna make a really big change to RuneScape because of the uh, Grand Exchange update that they are doing. It's actually it looks pretty interesting. They're they're dividing the Grand Exchange into four different parts. Um, it will be split into four different boots rather than one central building building so i think that's actually a pretty good uh update that they're doing yeah so i'm really really excited for that i think this is going to be a good month with uh some good updates um pretty much like a good way to say goodbye to summer because now we already have to go back to school in like 20 days and then we're gonna fuck everyone up you know whatever so yeah and then they're also doing like some little things like audio updates to magic and agility sounds which um they actually recorded the um they actually recorded the agility sounds from their staff members themselves doing an agility course kind of like ridiculous and then it's I'm mean, it's like real life audio so i think that's gonna be really big crap because i, I don't think that's gonna make sense but yeah and then they also have this temple trek and rework i mean i don't know what the hell the temple this shit is because I think I missed uh, something in the homepage that I should have read. I always read the homepage. But I think I missed something. And that's why I have no idea what the hell this is. So, um, also, something else that they're doing. They're doing a quest. I think this is a, a quest. So, um, the fuck? Okay, I really don't care about that. It looks to me like, a, yeah, it, it's a quest. It can't be a mini game because it requires other quests to be able to do it. So yeah, I believe that's a quest. They're also changing up the way Edgeville looks. This is something that I'm also very excited about, simply because they're um adding new roofs. They're they're adding new trees. Which if you guys go to like Drainer Village, you know Port Serum around that area, you guys will see like new trees. Those big ass trees. Um, yeah, those trees. I believe. Those are the ones they're going to add to Edgeville, which they should really add to the whole world. Because how could you have a fucking 30-foot oak tree in, in you know, Port Serum, which looks completely different from the oak tree in, for example, Lumbridge, which is, like, only, like, five feet tall. It's, it's ridiculous. It's stupid. But, yeah, at least they're adding it to Edgeville. And um, they're also um adding new rewards for minigames, but... Basically, the reward I'm going to talk about, which I swear to God, if I had it, I would be the happiest man on earth, which would be the Jad Pet. I can't even imagine how it's going to look. It's going to look, like, awesome. Like, I, I can't imagine Jad being a pet. That would be, like, so raw. But, yeah, it's gay because it requires 99 summoning and 99 slayer, 100 zeals, and you have to give a fire cave for it. Um, personally... If I had 99 summoning and 99 slayer, which I do kind of understand why you need those because this pet is just way too cool for, you know, low leveled players and noobs and whatever to have them. But if I did have 99 summoning and 99 slayer, I would so get this pet. 100 zeals for me is really not that much of a big deal because I did swords from 95 to 99 with, uh... Uh, I did 99 HP from 95 to 99 with Soul Wars. So, if I had those two 99s, the 100 Zeos wouldn't really be much of a deal to me. Much of a big deal. And I wouldn't really care about handing over a Fire Cape. Because I'm pretty sure I could get another one. Um, I beat Jad on my first try. But I'm, I'm guessing now if I try him again, maybe I won't be as lucky. Or, I won't, or maybe if it was just, you know, skill and how I was focused, maybe... You know, I know something will go wrong if I have to do Jad again because I've already, like, completely forgotten about Jad and I would have to basically review everything before I do him again. But, um, yeah, and they're also making, like, necromancy gear, they're making hybrid gear, um, they're making room crafting gear, which gives you extra XP when you're room crafting. I actually should get that because I, I freaking, like, to me, room crafting is like, go fuck yourself, I hate that skill. So yeah, anything to give me the extra XP, I would definitely need it, because I hate that skill, it's so slow. And yeah, and they're just making new spells for the livid form thing. So yeah, um, very excited for this month, I mean, updates like these, um, they aren't really that good. Like, Chagix will make month updates, you know, they always do like every week, they 
every month they would do behind the scenes and normally they're crap but this is a I guess a special month to me because it's actually something that would change RuneScape so yeah I hope that um this will go well and that uh, it's not just bullshit updates I hope that the GE will look better and stuff I mean I already like the GE I love it but I hope they make it even better like they said they are supposed to do and you know and everything goes well I'm doing 99 agility so yeah I'm right here and I am level uh 91 and I'm 77k from 92 so once I reach 92 I will be halfway halfway which is 6 mil 570k 17k current xp and then you know for 99 it's 13 mil 34k xp so yeah any skill that you reach level 92 on you're basically halfway so um yeah that's pretty much it that's all i have to say peace out i'll see you guys later